which side tangent i'm gonna make this a side tangent i get recommended manga series and you know that's fine that is fine i get recommended manga series from different people on youtube and that's fine i like the exposure and sometimes i get stuff that's actually good but every single one of these series that i come across are always the same isekai power fantasy betrayal story that i've already seen already heard of and it's just like it pisses me off like i legitimately legitimately before i had to move before i my internet was cut i was legitimately thinking about making a video called is isekai dead and unlike a particular tumblr youtuber that i will not mention but i imagine a lot of you already know I have seen a fair detail of isekai anime, not including Sword Art Online. I have seen Kanesuba. I have seen Aoi Ferretta. I have seen Log Horizon. I have seen No Game, No Life. I have seen Ascendance of a Bookworm. I have seen In Our World, My Smartphone. I have seen The, uh, the Apothecary, or the, uh, yeah, the there was one called The Apothecary. It's, oh no, was it called The Apothecary or was it called Parallel World Pharmacy? Either one. I've seen Parallel War Pharmacy. I have seen... Look, I, you get the point. I've seen vast majority of these series. And, like, a lot of them, for all what they do, a lot of them I like. And a lot of them are good. I don't want to I don't want to downplay any of that. A lot of them, though, are just... They just... I don't care. <laughs> they're very... They're either boring or they're just, like, they don't get my entrance. But... I, I, tempt, I was tempted to make a video called Is Isekai Dead? And I was gonna talk about all that stuff until I realized something. A lot of the series that people on YouTube have been recommending and a lot of the series that I have been coming across, they don't really fall under a particular genre, other, genre or demographic other than Isekai. So what I did was I found, uh, like I went to like a manga website, right? And I just typed in, like, okay, Isekai and Seinen. Because those are no, Seinen is a demographic intended for young adults. And I was just like, okay, I want to find some series that legitimately I like are just more than just, you know, the particular power fantasy. And I did. I actually did. And I was just like, it was surprised. I was just surprised to find them. Like, one of the series I, like, for example, one of the series that. I came across, in the grand scheme of things, I was, like, different than the others I came across. Call the Name of the Night. And it's a story about a doctor who takes care of, a, 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 like, a magician doctor who takes care of a little girl apprentice. Who ultimately has, like, trauma and a lot of issues. So it's, like, it's essentially, like, essentially, like, it's a manga about rehabilitation and everything. But it's, it's honestly, like, I was reading it, and honestly, it legitimately, it reads like a genuine, like, it, it reads like a genuine, like, its own story. It feels like there's actually a point to tell, but alongside that, it also feels like the story doesn't go down the route of power, or wish fulfillment, fantasy. And I really like that. Anyway, I hate the fact that there are so many people that would just rather recommend shit that is just, it's just hollow to me. Like, there was a video, I don't remember who made it, but there was a video someone made of, like, a manga series where it's just like, yeah, a party member gets betrayed by their party, but in actuality, their ability is, like, some gotcha uh, power, and they spend, like, two or three years wanting to get revenge, and they have this harem of, like, the harem of sexy women around them. It's just... It's it's really hollow. It's really shallow. I just I, I didn't even care for it. Honestly, I gave it a shot and I was just like, oh God, this is no, I don't want it. no. So it's just like, yeah. But that tangent aside, ultimately my point I was trying to make was that.